Take it easy with your ammunition, Jeff. We might have to hold them off for a long time. Well, that's all we've been doing for the last three hours. I think we ought to think about getting out of here. Yeah. yeah. How are we going to do it? This is the only way out. And they know it. That's why they're all bunched out there in front. Take it easy, men. They can't hold out forever. Just keys them along and they'll run out of ammunition. Then we'll rush them. I wonder who tipped the sheriff off we were hiding out here. Somebody that wanted that reward money. You seem to forget, Billy, you've been accused of everything but Lincoln's assassination. Yeah, and if I was a little older, they'd probably hang that on me. Looks like they're gonna wait till dark and then rush us. Let them rush. We've been in worse scrapes than this. And speaking about scrapes, I think I've scraped our way out of here. Fuzzy, you're either a genius or a gopher. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Get our horses ready. No. You're in the clear. Looks like they're out of ammunition, boys. Let's rush them. I think I'd leave good coffee behind just on account of a little shooting, do you? <laughs> Sometimes I think Fuzzy really uses his head. Well, we got out of that one all right, Billy. What's next? Oh, let's bed down here tonight. I've had enough excitement for today. <laughs> so have I. Then in the morning we'll drift. This part of the country's getting too hot for us. Hey, how about your uncle's ranch down Little Bend Valley? Remember you were talking about? I almost forgot about that. He invited me to visit him. That'd be as good a place to hide out as any. The yeah. best. Well, do you think he'd care if you brought us along? You know the way things are, Jack. Say, I'm the only kin Uncle Jim's got left. Outside the law or not, he'll welcome us. Pour me some more coffee, Fuzzy. Pour it yourself. You're not crippled. Oh, mutiny, huh? <laughs> What's your hurry, Miss Roberts? Why can't you leave me alone? I'm not bothering you. We've told you before that we don't want homesteaders around here. 
Now get down off of the wagon, and we're going to show you this time we mean business. I'm not a homesteader. I've paid for my ranch, and I have as much right here as you have. Maybe. Get busy, Buck. All right, get down off of that. Please don't do that. Oh, shut up. Looks like that lady in trouble. Wait here, fellas. Is that a nice way to talk to a lady? Looks like you gentlemen got the best of this argument. Well, what business is that of yours? None of it wasn't so one-sided. What's the trouble, miss? Well, if you must know, she's a nester. And this is cattle country. We don't want our range plowed up. So you take it out on someone who can't fight back. Since when did the West start raising polecats like you that make war on women? See, I don't like the way you talk, cowboy. And I don't like the way you act. Which... All right, now get on those horses and get going. Thank you so much, Mr. My friends call me Billy. Oh, it's all right. These are friends of mine. What's all the ruckus about, Billy? Nothing much, Jeff. Jeff, I want you to meet Miss... Uh... Ann. Howdy, ma'am. Miss Ann, this is Fuzzy. Uh, uh... Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> this girl is... Fuzzy's bashful, ma'am. <laughs> I don't think those umbrays will bother you again, miss, but if you want us to, we'll see you home. I'd be very grateful if you would. All right, fellas, let's get this stuff back in the wagon. Take care of this stuff for you, Miss Ann. Thank you so much. Hey, Fuzzy, give me a hand with this stuff, will you? Say, Billy. Did Miss Ann say her father bought this place from a man named Cobb Allen? Yeah, why? It was something kind of funny. This is my Uncle Jim's place. What? If he'd have sold out, I'd have sure heard about it. Well, I sure got to change our plans, Jeff. We'll find out where he went. Would you boys mind putting the things in the kitchen? I'll take my father's away. You know, Jack, your uncle might have made a deal with this fellow, Alan. How long has it been since you heard from him? Just a couple of months ago. That's when he invited me to visit him. I'm telling you, Billy, I don't like the looks of this thing. I'm gonna... Wait a minute. Don't say anything to these folks until we find out what's happened. Come in. Well, this is Fuzzy, one of the boys I was telling you about. Well, I'm very glad to know you, Fuzzy. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Roberts. Fuzzy, the kitchen's right over there. <laughs> You didn't have to bring it all, Fuzzy. <laughs> and, Father, this is Billy. How do you do, Mr. Roberts? I'm glad to know you, Billy. And this is Jeff. How do you do, sir? This is a pleasure. Quisiera una taza de café. 
When we came out west, Anne and I, Cobb Allen offered to sell us this ranch. We made a down payment of nearly all the cash we had. Mr. Allen said he'd been making money here for some time. Then he decided to retire from ranching to take care of his interests in town. That's why, with a paying ranch, we thought we'd have no trouble in making the rest of the payments. And, but it hasn't worked out that way. Did Allen say how long he'd been working the place? Many years from the way he talked. Did you ever hear of a rancher around here named name of Jim Blanchard? No, no, I'm sure I haven't. But then we've only lived here six, seven weeks. It seems I did hear of a Jim Blanchard in town. That he'd disappeared or moved away, anyhow, that he wasn't around anymore. Well, that's too bad. We were kind of hoping to visit with him a while before we moved down north. We'd sure like to know where he went. Uh, you see, it's kind of important. Do you know of any place around here where we could get room and board for a while? Boys, we'd be very glad to have you stay here with us. <laughs> we have much, but you're more than welcome to it. Well, that's mighty nice of you, Mr. Robert. Thanks. We'll spread our stuff out in the bunkhouse. It's time for Mr. Robert's medicine, senorita. Oh, excuse us, will you please? Come on, Dad. <laughs> Say, Billy, there's something fishy about this Cobb Allen. Why should he say he's owned this ranch for a long time? I don't believe he ever owned it. Well, maybe you're right. The first thing we have to do is to find out what happened to your Uncle Jim. Say, we'd better duck, Billy. No telling who those fellows might be. I will stay here and take a chance. I hope he don't recognize us. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Come in. Oh, hello, Mr. Barlow. Ask more water today? Yes, Miss Ann, if you don't mind. How's your father today? He's much better, thank you. Mr. Barlow, these boys are friends of ours. They help me. Yeah. Come here, quick, will you? Oh, yes, Father. Excuse me, will you please? Who, who's that in there? Dave Barlow. Hmm. That was came after more water again today. Mr. Roberts, why haven't you taken that medicine? Because it's bitter as gall. You mean to say those men out there are trying to farm this land and they have to get their water here? That's right. It's mighty tough on all of us. Why, wasn't there a stream of water running through this property, Mr. Barlow? Seems like I remember one. Yes, there used to be, but not anymore. Not since Alan clamped down on us. You see, it was this way. When Alan sold each of us our acreage, we thought the water went with the land. That's why we bought it. Most of us paid down all the cash we had, expecting to get a good crop the first year to pay off the balance. Then what happened? Well, Alan said we had to come through with an extra thousand dollars apiece for a water right. None of us had the money, so... So he cut off the stream. Yes, he diverted it into another channel up in the canyon a short distance from here. There's nothing we can do about it. He's got guards watching. Hello there, Dave. How's everything? Oh, hello, Tom. I just dropped in for some more water. Well, you know you're welcome to it. As much as you want. Thank you, thank you. The more I hear of this man, Alan, the better I like rattlesnakes. Yeah. Of course, selling people property with a big down payment and then running them off is an old trick. But why? So they won't discover he couldn't deliver a clear deed if they did pay up. And my guess is he never did own the land. I think you got the right answer, Jeff. That's a rotten way to make money. Alan got a hold of this ranch by a crooked deal. When we find out how he did it, we'll find out what happened to your uncle. If he's done anything well, to take my... it easy. We'll stay around here till we get to the bottom of this. The best thing for us to do is to help those settlers out there. If Alan's playing some kind of a game, that'll bring him out into the open. Fuzzy, you stay around here and keep your eyes open. Come on, Jeff, we've got some work to do. Well, the wagon must be loaded by now. I'll be moving along. Mr. Barlow, would a run of water save your crops? It sure would. Fine. Tell your friends to get their ditches ready. Jeff. 
Do you mean that those boys are going to open up that creek? Well, they're going to try to, and I'm betting they'll do it. But they have guards out there that are armed. So are my partners. kept you so long? I was afraid I'd have to put in a double shift. We had to stop and rough up that Roberts outfit. The boss is in a hurry to clear him out. He's got another customer waiting for the place. He don't waste much time, does he? I'll say he don't. up some grub, Buck. I'm hungry. Somebody doubt that barricade. I'll take care of him. Watch out, Billy. Here he comes. Lay off that stranger. Can't you see that sign? You mean this? What does it say? I can't read. If you try to get through that barricade, I'll shoot. You better drop that rifle, mister. You're liable to get hurt. I'm warning you. Keep away from there. Over oh, that? <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. I'm hard of hearing, too. Surround the place. Boy, it sure looks like you had yourself a time. Yeah, something like that. You can turn that water back in your creek now, Mr. Barlow. I reckon we can, thanks. All right, men, get your shovels. We're going to have water. Water! Oh, what are we going to do with these polecats? What do you know about Jim Blanchard? Nothing. He owned the robber's place up till a couple of months ago, remember? No, I don't. You're lying. No, I'm not. How should I know? I've only been working for Alan a short time. You know plenty and you better start talking. Wait a minute, Jeff. Let him go. Now get out of here where you still have a chance. And tell Alan we're opening that stream and it better stay open. Beat it. What's the idea, Billy? I want to work him over. After they talk to Alan, he'll know we mean business. 
Hey, did your uncle have any friends around here that weren't connected with Alan? Yes. There was a lawyer in town. We could go see him. Being seen in town is sure risky, but... Come on, we'll take a chance. Come in. Mr. Martin? Yes, sir. What can I do for you? We'd like to get some information about Jim Blanchard. I understand you handle his legal affairs. That's right, I do. What do you want to know about him? We'd like to know where he is. So would I. Sit down, won't you? You mean you don't know where he is? That's what I mean. And I'm not the only one who'd like to know the whereabouts of Jim Blanchard. There's the sheriff, for one. Sheriff? Was he in trouble? I mean, has he done something the law wants him for? Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. He just disappeared. There's some talk that he packed up and left the country, but I don't believe it. Frankly, I think Jim Blanchard's dead. Murdered. What makes you think that? Have you reason to believe that somebody wanted him out of the way? I have. And that's where the sheriff comes into it. We're working on the case right now. Who do you suspect? I have a right to know. Jim Blanchard is my uncle. We have every reason to suspect Cobb Allen. He and Jim Blanchard have been having some trouble over a land title. Allen claimed your uncle's deed was faulty. Things are beginning to add up, Jeff. We have to have more than suspicion to go on. It's Allen, all right. If he wasn't so sure Uncle Jim wouldn't show up, he wouldn't dare sell that ranch. That's exactly the way the sheriff and I figured it. But the law is helpless without positive proof. And in the meantime, this fellow Allen goes right ahead robbing these settlers and maybe worse. Can't something be done about that? Nothing, I'm sorry to say. It looks like we'll have to take care of Allen in our own way. Yeah. Now, if you're thinking about fighting Allen with six guns, I'd advise against it. I know another young man who got into a lot of trouble by being too quick on the trigger. His name was Billy the Kid. Thanks for the advice. But if Alan's in back of this, he's got to answer for it. And we're going to see that he does. But we'll do it according to law. I'm glad to hear you say that, young man. Where does he hang out? He owns a saloon across the street. I saw him heading in that direction a moment ago. Thanks, Mr. Martin. For everything. Goodbye, boys. Good luck and be careful. Adios. Howdy. Is Alan around? What's the play, Billy? I don't know yet. Just cover me. Right. Alan? Yeah. I understand you handle most of the land deals in these parts. Well, yes. Interested? Maybe. Is there any place we could talk in private? My office. Fine. You know, your face is strangely familiar. I just can't recall the name. The name isn't important, Alan, but this is. What is this, a holdup? You ought to know you're a past master at it. Now, what do you want? You're giving back every dollar you squeezed out of those settlers in Little Bend Valley and the Blanchard Ranch deal. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. And I never squeezed any money out of anybody. Just what do you know about the Blanchard deal? Quit your stalling, Alan. I'm wise to the game you're playing. Now open that safe and pay off. Oh, now I know who you are. You're Billy the Kid. Now open that safe, or do you want me to pull this trigger? Oh, now, wait a minute. Can we make a deal? The only deal you'll make with me is to give me that money. Hurry up. All right. I'll pay off. Just a minute, boy. It's all right. Only a little argument. If they need you, they'll call you. Hey, that sounds like a fight in Alan's office.
Dave, what brings you out gallivanting around at night? Plenty, Tom. The sheriff is headed this way. There's talk he's looking for Billy the Kid. That's right, Anderson. Isn't it, Jeff? Maybe you'd better tell Ann and the boys about it. Yes, I guess I'd better. What's the trouble, Jack? The sheriff. He's on his way. What? Where are the horses? Right outside. What's that, boys? Has something gone wrong? No, everything's all right, but it looks like we're going to have to leave you for a couple of days. Isn't this departure rather sudden? Well, yes, it is, but that's the way I always do things. On the spur of the moment. You're not fooling me, Billy. I couldn't help hearing what Jeff said about the sheriff. And if you're worried about me finding out that you're Billy the Kid, you can stop worrying right now, because we've known it ever since you've been here. Sheriff, you're welcome, but I don't like the company you keep. Well, I ain't here for social purposes. And I've got something to say to you, lawbreakers, when the sheriff gets through. All right, Sheriff, go ahead. Well, Alan tells me that you're connected in some way with this outlaw Billy the Kid. How about it? I don't know what you're talking about. How could we be connected with him? He and one of his cutthroat followers were in my place today. They tried to hold me up for all the money you people paid me for my land. He also said I tricked you into the deal, and you wanted your money back. That's news to us, but at that, it isn't far from what we'd like. If we knew what the kid looked like, maybe we could help you. Well, take a good look at this. Well, that's either a mighty poor likeness of Billy the Kid, or we never saw him. Yep, you're barking up the wrong tree. Why, you're all lying. If you'd like to make this a personal matter, I'd be glad to step outside. Oh, just a minute. We're just wasting time. Tell them what you came here to say. Well, you men broke the law when you tore out my dam. Stealing water is as bad as stealing cattle in this country. I'm giving you three days to pay for the damage. So I'm hauling you into court, taking everything you got. A lot can happen in three days. He's just ornery enough to do what he says. Well, as long as I'm out here, I might as well take a look through the house. Well, I'll help you. Yes, Dave. Go ahead. Help him. It's a pretty good reward for the capture of the kid, isn't it? Yes, and a big one. Willing to split it? Well, anybody that helps me catch him will share in the reward. You know that old shack up in the canyon? Yeah. If you mosey up that way, you, uh, you might find something interesting. But don't let anyone know I told you. Up the canyon, eh? Yeah, you can sneak out through the kitchen door. Thanks for the tip. I won't forget you. Uncomfortable, I hope. Yeah. So it was you that jumped me when I came in here last night. You are Billy the Kid. What are you gonna do with me? Just keep you out of circulation for a while, that's all. And I'll tell you why. Billy's taking the blame for jumping the sheriff last night. That puts us in the clear. I'm getting kind of fond of that boy. <laughs> well, you see, even though you know that Alan and Swim will be settlers out of their money, there's nothing you can do about it. Maybe I can. But I'll need a free hand for a few days. If I wasn't an officer of the law, I'd wish you luck. But as it is, it's my duty to try to put you behind bars. That's exactly why you're here. So neither one of us will get hurt. Well, now that that's settled, well, what about some grub? Right away. It's up to you now, Fuzzy. No one has ever seen you with us, so they won't suspect anything. Just leave it to me. Hey, don't forget I'm in that saloon. Don't worry, we'll be right here to cover you if anything happens. I said I wanted to see Alan. Alan, I said. 
I told you Alan wasn't here. Now shut up. Who, who, who told me to shut up? I did. Oh, yeah? <laughs> did you say that to me? <laughs> Sit down and be quiet. Hey, listen, I'm lonesome. I want somebody to talk. Will you have a drink with yes, me? Yes, hey, hello! What do you want to see Alan for? Big secret. I promise never to tell it to a human being, so listen. It's treasure, gold, see? It's buried around here someplace on a ranch. Well, I don't know one ranch from another. That's why I want to see Alan. I got a map. Yeah, let's see it. You know, there's lots of ranches around here. Yeah, I know. That's why I want to see Alan. He knows them all. He can tell me which one. You see, my friend who wrote me this letter, he's in prison now. He robbed a mine around here about five years ago, and he got $50,000 in gold. There was a robbery here five years ago, and the gold was never found. You see, he wants me to pick up the gold from wherever he buried it, under a house somewhere. But I don't know one ranch from another around here. That's why I want to see Alan. He knows them all. Well, my name's Alan. Well, that's fine. I got a map about the gold here. Yeah, I overheard him talk. Yeah, you see, uh, uh, you come into my uh, office. I can find that way anywhere. Tell I want to see. I'm telling you all about it. I ever heard about so much money in my life. You know, it's just a lot of money. Ow! Well, now let's see that letter on the map. Well, there's a map. Oh, my goodness. I've got someplace for me. I have to... I can't seem to see something around here. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, thanks. <laughs> got it. Good. Yeah, you got to promise to keep mum about this. Now, you got to have everybody knowing about $7,000 and hidden gold. Sure. <laughs> I know how to keep a secret. We'd have got a look at that map. Now Al will hog it all. You're right. Every time we run into something good, we never get a look at it. Uh, did you find it? Why, uh, yes or no? I'm not sure. I'll have to check up on it. Tell you what you do. You leave the map here for a day or two, and I'll go through my files. <laughs> all right. Good. But you had to give me a receipt for it. I owe no arguments when I come back. All right, I'll get you one. Two days, huh? Uh-huh. Day after tomorrow will be okay. Oh, wait a minute. This way out. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I'll have a seat. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Uh, pardon me. Here's your gun. Here he comes. You fellas are my friends, my best friends. I gotta give you some of my gold when I get it. Hey, what happened in there?
How'd you make out, Fuzzy? hundred <laughs> percent, and here's a receipt for it. I'll bet he'll be out to Robert's place within an hour, unless there's another place exactly like it. Well, there isn't. You can be sure of that. Let's get out of here. Allen's men coming over the hill, headed this way. Already? Fine. Jeff, you go with Barlow. Right. Let he get out of sight, and no matter what happens, stay put. Well, we gotta get your dad out of here. Looks like we're gonna have some action, Mr. Roberts. What? And you and your father better go in the other room. What's wrong? Never mind, better hurry. Come on. like they've gone away. You wait here and I'll take a look. Hello? Is anybody home? You won't find Roberts under there. Don't shoot again. Get your hands up, all of you! Get their guns. Tie them up. Press them. All right, Jeff. Take him into town. Right. Take him out there. <laughs> that ought to take some of the audience out of them. You certainly gave those cutthroats a taste of their own medicine. What do you suppose they'll do now? I don't think they'll do anything. If I'm not mistaken, Alan will be the next one to show up, and I'm hoping he comes along. If he does, here's what I want you to do. Now listen, Mr. Roberts, we got a chance to put this over. A game? Well, it's not the kind of game I like to play. Those settlers jumped us. Oh, and we... the settlers. And what were you doing? Making mud pies? Come into my office. I'm tired of your mistakes, Baker. This is the finish. I'm paying you off. Be a through. Way you want it. But remember, there's a lot of things you should pay me to forget. The Blanchard murder, for instance. 
Shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. Well, I was only talking. Yeah. That's the trouble with you. You're all talking nothing else. But if you ever babble about that Blanchard deal, I'll fix you so you'll never talk again. Do you understand? Yeah. All right, get going. Remember what I said. Place. Well, I jumped it. I know that. What else? Well, nothing except, I guess, Billy the Kid's organized the settlers. Oh, so that's it. And it'd take a troop of cavalry to run them Roberts off that place now. Why don't you go out and see what you can do? I think I'll do that. to Little Ben Valley, didn't he? Yeah. Well, you know he ain't fooling me a bit. He's going to buy back the Roberts place as the quickest way to get rid of him. And why? Because that's where the gold is hidden. How do you know that? I tried up a board in there today, and underneath there was something in two sacks. Pretty soft for Alan. $50,000. It's pretty soft for anyone. Roberts doesn't know it's there. He'd sell out for a song. Why should we let Alan get all the gravy? Well, there's no way to stop him. Sure there is. What do you mean? I've got some money salted away in the cabin. Have you got any? Yeah. You willing to throw in with me? For what? Outbidding Alan. I don't know any easier way of getting $50,000. We'll go by and pick up my money at the cabin. Then we'll pay a visit to old man Roberts. It's a dangerous place to hide money. Somebody's liable to find it. If anyone ever got in this cabin besides us, we'd all have ropes around our necks. What do you mean? You remember Blanchard and all the others that disappeared from around here? Yeah. It's funny how they dropped from sight after Alan bought them out. Nobody ever saw them again. No one ever will. You're standing right over where they're buried. What? You want to see them? Never mind. Let's get out of here. I don't think you need to, Miss Ann. I think we've got everything under control. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, Fuzzy, there's some hot coffee back on the stove.
fuzzy. Yeah, I know. I stay here. That's right. Miss all the fun. First class watchdog. Hello, Mr. Allen. Why, hello. Come on in. Glad to find home, Robert. Won't you sit down? Yeah. Sorry to bother you, but I'm in somewhat of a jam. Well, that's too bad. Yeah. It's about this ranch. I made a mistake selling it to you. Mistake? Yeah. But don't you worry, you won't lose any of the investment. Well, I don't understand. Well, naturally, I'll return an investment with interest. As soon as you give me a quick claim deed. Well, that's real kind of you, but it won't be necessary. Well, it's the only right thing to do. But I've already made arrangements for the sale of the property. Yes, you see, we thought it wise to sell out because of all the trouble we've been having. Well, you all have to call off the deal. Well, I can't. It's too late. Well, if you can't, I can. Who are you dickering with? Do I know him? The rumors I've heard, I believe you do. Hello, Billy. Hello, Ann. How are you, Alan? Everything's all set, Mr. Roberts. You give me the assignment of your contract, and I'll give you the money. Is this the man you figure I'm selling to? Yeah. Any objections? But do you know who he is? Certainly, he's Billy Barney. Huh. That may be his right name, but throughout the Southwest, he's known as Billy the Kid. That don't make no difference to me. All I want is my money back. And I'm ready to give it to you. Yeah, but Roberts can't sell that ranch to you. Stick around long enough and you'll find out that he can. Yeah, but he hasn't a clear title. There was a mistake made in the deed. I'll take my chances on that. Not so fast. You paid 5000 on your contract. That's right. I'll give you a bonus of 500 You will? And I'll double that bonus. Are you serious? I was never more serious in my life. Well, so am I. And I'll raise his bit a thousand. Let's see, that makes uh, $7,000. Did you ever hear of Alan giving money away? I can't say that I have. That's what I thought. Seventy-five hundred. I'll make it eight thousand. What are you buttoning in for? We're getting tired of being kicked from pillar to post. Yeah, we're gonna settle down and be gentlemen farmers. Hey, you men will be sorry for this. I don't think so. Well, do your squabbling outside. I've changed my mind about selling. But you can do that. I'll give you ten thousand dollars. There's something going on I don't know anything about. No, there isn't. Then why are you willing to pay twice as much as we invested to get the property back? Well, if word gets out the deed is faulty, I'll have all the other settlers on my neck. That sounds reasonable. Or than yourself or me. Well, yes, if the others are through bidding. Well, I haven't even started yet. I'll give you $11,000. That goes for us, too. 12000 30 14000 50 16000 $17,000, Mr. Roberts. Well, I guess you bought something. Well, now, wait a minute. I want to talk to Baker and Greg. Go ahead. Take all the time you want. You spoiled this deal for me. You're kind of forgetting the kid, ain't you? Wonder how much he knows. From the way he's bidding, I'd say plenty. Yeah. We're cutting each other's throats. You know that, don't you? That's what you get for trying to hog it all for yourself. Let's pool our money and drive the kid out. Hey. How much you got? We've got 16,000 between us. Let me have it. Remember, that's a partnership. I'm going to turn you loose, Sheriff. If you do, I'm going to put you behind bars. I'll just have to take that chance. You run with Billy the Kid, don't you? We've been pals for a long while. You're pals and you're turning me loose? Why? You'll understand when I tell you who I am. Well, who are you? Jeff Blanchard. And a relation of Jim? He was my uncle. Did you say was? Yes, he's been murdered. I just found his body. Where? In a shack where Alan and his men hang out. I'll tell you more about it as we ride. $23,000. See, what do you want this place for? The same reason you do. And what's that? Well, this ranch is the only source of water in the valley. That makes it pretty valuable. But you never get your money back selling water rights to settlers. You seem to think you can. Uh, 
$25,000, and that's my limit. I want to remind both of you this is a cash sale. Money right on the line. Well, in that case, I guess I'm through. I haven't got that much with me. You're through in more ways than one. I want immediate possession. We'll be out of here so quick it'll make your head swim. Make me out a quick claim deed in my favor. Right away. If you know what's good for you, you'll hightail it out of these parts. That might be a good suggestion. I sure wanted this place, Alan, but I'll have to admit you beat me this time. No hard feelings. <laughs> Not at all. Goodbye, Ann. Goodbye, Billy. Jim Blanchard. There's others down there, too. I'm sure you'll find all the evidence you need to pin the killings on Allen in the land office records. That's what I'm hoping. Well, how about Billy and me? Well, as far as you're both concerned, I'm going to be deaf, dumb, and blind for the next 24 hours. That's mighty white of you, Sheriff. Before you hit the trailers, one thing I wish you'd let us do. Name it. Help you round up Alan and the rest of them. I know right where they are. It's a deal. I sure like them. They're mighty fine people. What are you hanging around for? I just wanted to make sure they got away all right. Satisfied? Yeah. I won't bother you boys any longer. Good hunting. You stay out here. Keep your eyes open. Come on. Everything go up all right? Just like clockwork. We'll give those settlers back every dime that Alan got from them, and a little extra for their trouble. Will Jeff know where to find us? Sure. Come on. Too heavy, too heavy for me. Why have we been jipped? Why the dirty crook? Well, what about the map and the letter from the man in prison? Oh, it's all a frame up. Billy, the kid can't get away with this. Which way to keep going? Down the road towards the forts. Why? Did something go wrong? Plenty. Come on. you close the deal, Billy. That's right, Mr. Barlow. Here's the money. Well, no, he's certainly a blessing. Billy, we certainly appreciate that. Billy, I guess we all owe you a vote of thanks for what you've done. We That's all right, Mr. Roberts. We were glad to be able to do it. Here you are, Mr. Barlow. This extra is a sort of a bonus. You know, for that sheriff deal. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well, look who's coming. Alan and his toy poodle. Wait a minute. This is our fight. You folks stay out of it and nobody will get hurt. Good luck. Good luck, boy.
Mr. Billy. Hold it, Sheriff. Wait a minute, men. You're interfering with law and order. Law or no law, we're not going to let you take Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid? I don't believe I ever heard of him. We're looking for Alan and his gang of gunmen. Have you seen them? They just left here three minutes ago to catch Fuzzy and Billy. Why in thunder didn't you say so? Come on, Jeff. He's got Jeff. He thinks he's got Jeff. Just a minute, Sheriff. Did you hear a noise around here, Jeff? Don't believe I it did. It's all right, Billy. We're after Alan. We've got the goods on him. We want him for the murder of Jim Blanchard. But we don't want to be stopped by every cowboy in the county. Come on, Jeff. In that case, you got yourself a party. Someplace, Alan? Well, look who we've got here. Why, Sheriff, you're just the man I'm looking for. That's mighty interesting, Alan, because you're just the man I've been looking for. You see, I've just found Jim Blanchard. Now get rid of those guns, quick. Thanks for the help, boys. I can take care of things from here on in. Oh, but you can't let them go. Why, he's Billy the Kid. No. You could be wrong, Alan. However, I'll look into it when I get you fellas into jail. Yes, but come on, get moving. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> 